This is the plaintiff, Tiffany. She says she hired the defendant to make a custom dress for her daughter's prom. And the dress he made was a horror. It didn't look anything like it was supposed to. He obviously rushed through it and refuses to return her money. Clearly, the defendant didn't know a thing about making dresses. She wants a full refund and is suing here and now for the $2,704.75 she's owed. This is the defendant, Carlos Anthony. He says the plaintiff loved the dress when she came to pick it up for her daughter. But the next day, she called to say she hated it. He asked her what he could do to fix it. She told him she simply wanted her money back so she could buy a different dress. He refused, and here they are. He's accused of making a mess of things. All parties, please as you're right here. Be seated, come to order, please. That against have been sworn. Uh, Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, okay, Tiffany and Sade. Neither of you want your last name mentioned. Sade's your daughter. Yes. Okay, and you have power of attorney for her. Yes. You are suing Original Stush Showroom, right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Representing here by the owner, uh, you want us to refer to you as Carlos Anthony for $2,704.75 because you purchased a $500 prom dress from him and it was unacceptable. Yes. Right. Tell me what happened. On April 8th, um, I was look well, way before April 8th, I was looking for someone to make a dress for my daughter. You know, it's her prom. She's um, in high school, a senior. She's a senior? Yes. She's in back. Is she here? No, she's taking finals. She's graduating. She's okay. in the baccalaureate IB program. Arista. Um, smart girl. Very smart. Yeah. She's interned in a law firm. She wants to be a lawyer. So whatever my daughter wants, I work hard to get. <laughs> okay. She's a good kid. Excellent. All right. So upon me looking for a dress, um, I spoke to my hairstylist, and she said she knows a couple of people. She referred me to Carlos. Okay. I go on April 8th. I went to see him. I'm very specific what I want. Everyone know when I do functions? exactly the way I wanted. My daughter won a Hawaiian party because her birthday's in the winter. She had a Hawaiian party with singing in my Did home. Did you bring a picture of the dress that you wanted? Yes. Okay. And you I also put the dress, dress down so okay. you don't have to carry this whole trial. All so, right, so um, you bring them a picture of what your daughter wanted. Did your daughter go too? Yes. She did? Okay. Yes. Okay, do oh. you have a picture of the dress for me? Yes. Let me see it. Okay, so this is the dress that, that my you asked for. Wanted. Okay, how many fittings were there? One, we had, first of all, the dress supposed to be made by May 5th. We got there May 5th. The only thing that was on that dress was the base. No zipper, nothing, just the base. You know the base. And my daughter even tried it on with the base. And it was too tight. So luckily the zipper wasn't on it. So he had to loosen it out. So then I'm like, oh my God, such and such and such. Luckily, my cousin told me to say May 5th. Give yourself time. You yeah. never know. Should always Because I don't never. When was the prom? The prom's actually May 27th. Okay. So it wasn't wow, ready. Wow, gave yourself a lot of time. Right, but okay. guess what? Good, because then May 13th came, dress still wasn't ready. I had to sit there three hours for it. Okay. Yeah. So this is the dress that he made? Yeah. Is this the dress? Uh, is your daughter in the dress? That's her in the dress. Okay. And this is taken on what day? May 13th? That was taken on May 12th. That's May 12th. That. Is that your daughter in it? That's my daughter in that one. In this one? Yes. Uh, so what happens when you pick it up on May 12th? She was upset. She said to me, she was like, this ain't the dress, Ma. This is not the dress, and I'm not wearing this. I'm not wearing this. And I said, don't worry about it. She was like, I just won't go. And the reason why she started saying- I just saying, won't go? She started, because it was a lot. She know I went through a lot. Oh, come on. No smart girl who's in the IB program nope. is not going to go to her own prom two weeks <laughs> from now because she doesn't like the dress that he made. You no. sue him, you get your money back, you go buy another dress. No, no. Wait, is that what she did? No. Your daughter point, didn't go to prom? No, she went to prom, but I'll guess what? I'll kill your daughter if she didn't go to <laughs> no, prom. She, no, I made sure she went. Of course, but you didn't have to make sure. You tell me your daughter's not so stupid. No, this is what she said. She said it to Show herself. me your daughter's prom pictures, baby. Oh, she looks very nice. Yes, do, indeed. Do, do to her mother. Show me your daughter's prom pictures. Can I show pictures. everyone? Look at that. Give me that. I'll show America. She Give me did, that right she now. She did excellent. I did excellent. You did. You made and that. That's a cherry she may hill. be. She may be sporting it, but you made it. The red one, right? 
Where'd she get this dress? It's a Cherry Hills dress from it's a beautiful. boutique that I had. Please, got, girl, I got three daughters. Listen, I know Cherry that Hills. That I had got. <laughs> that I had got before. Because he claimed that I wanted the money to go buy a new dress. I already had got the new dress. Thank you. Wow. That is nice. So let me talk to you, Carlos. Let's talk. How long have you been doing what you're doing? I've been doing what I'm doing for 20 years. In the United States, five years. We have a saying in the United States that a picture says a thousand words. I'm going to yes. hand you this picture because I want you to tell me whether you feel that your dress is an, is accurately represents the picture that they showed you. A picture speak a thousand words in the way how someone have on a dress and the way how someone structure in a dress. The way she have on this dress here, she doesn't have on no shoes. She's just shoes. Sitting. I'm talking about the train. Well, well, well that, that is it, right? In order for this dress to fall on the body, to fall and show the the, 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 the goodness of the dress, this, this person have to have on the shoes. It make it 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 it, it change the whole thing if, if it's not on the shoes. I'm going to show you this dress on 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 the mannequin, and you're going to see the total okay. difference with Let's the dress on the mannequin. <laughs> okay. While he's looking for that, you also hired him to do a vest. Yeah. To do a vest for her, for her prom date. date. Yeah. And how did the vest go? Like a billy top. Like a what? A billy top. What's a billy top? He, he redid it, but I have pictures of it, what it looked like. Can I show you? Yeah. Okay. I, I have the vest Wait, yet. but hold on. Just tell me. A billy top. The it vest, was too short. He, he supposed, the boy came with me to, um, uh, uh, to get the measurements. He took the measurements. He asked the boy, where do you want it? Do you want it right here? The boy said, yes. It rang 20, right? We came back the next day. Well, not the next day. The following time to try the vest on and to, to pay for it. The vest came up to here. So what, did he redo the vest? I guess he did. Okay. Do you feel that this yeah, dress oh, yes. looks like that dress? Okay. At <laughs> no time with none of my clients, I accept to, to produce 100% of the same work. So, first of all, you, right. you sound if very client... hostile towards me, and I've had just about enough of that in one day. Yes. Okay. So I need you to take it and notch Okay, I'm down. very sorry, very but sorry. But right? what makes you, th I mean, okay, right? this dress there doesn't no look way. like it okay. either. Okay, listen, right? But when listen, right, this is a me. different fabric. Look, I can tell you exactly when what's wrong with it. The fabric me? that you picked is too stiff for this kind of drapery. This drapery She brought that fabric to, it, to me. Yeah. She bought the fabric and bring the fabric Did to me. Did you buy the fabric? He told me what fabric to get, okay. and I went and got it. Is that I'm, accurate or no? No, listen, I told her, Did stretch you? stuff it to. And that's what I got. And stretch stuff it to, it varies in a varies okay, in different Okay, if she brought weight. you the wrong fabric, why did you make the dress? No, why didn't you tell her no? It's not the wrong fabric, but it, at no time I'm going to produce an exact dress like a, like a neck designer's yeah, But produced. you could have produced it better. Yeah? It could have been better. Well, that, well, it could have that, been a little closer. That's your right? opinion. That's your opinion. N yes. Ooh. That's my opinion, and guess which opinion counts in the courtroom? Yes, the lady right. with the black dress. <laughs> But even the even the breast part, you know, the the de, uh, decolletage the or whatever it's called, you know, this is a pointy thing like that, and this this is a nice little drape falling there instead of this is 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 flat and and pointy. That's not the same. Certainly, the train is not the same. Um, the vest don't even get me started, but I guess uh, <laughs> the vest is so so. Can I explain what. Um, when do you say to him, I want my money back? On the 13th. And what happened? The very next day. How I, do you say I, it? I come over, I come to his place. He was like, oh, so you're getting the vest? I said, I'm not getting the vest. The mother was paying the difference for the vest, and she's she, she's going to deal with you with that because she's not happy. I said, but about this dress, I don't want this dress. I said, I need a refund. I said, oh, it's a, no refund. So I start to the point I'm crying. I'm like shedding tears, everything. Like, I need my money. This is not right. It's not fair. And oh, I feel like jumping off a bridge, ma'am, because I feel so bad. I said, if you feel that bad, then why don't you just give me my money? You, you understand? Did you tell her you felt like, like jumping off a bridge? You gotta be careful. My mom always say, be careful of the things that you wish people kids. My mom wanna see the best of me. My mom not gonna feel you feel and you telling me all those things that I put my strength and energy into what I do. After, after I express my feelings to you, say, listen, I feel so bad to jump off a Brooklyn Bridge. You still texting me those things and taunting me. It's like, I don't really care what happened to him right now. He could die. And, and that same guy, you came in the shop and he make a fully nice dress to you. When the dress done, you have a few little stuff in it. I feel it, really and truly, I feel real bad to deal in with these kind of clients. And they it. already know that it's custom made. Yeah, it's custom. And once here, it's custom made. Let me explain something to you, because you're talking to the right person to have this case. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, 
If the prom dress or the dress looks different from what it's supposed to look like from the picture, but it still looks good, do you get your money back? Absolutely. I made a request. It was very specific. I was committed to getting what I wanted, and I didn't. I should get the free dress and the dress I originally ordered. A free dress and the dress? That's a windfall, isn't it? Depends how you look at it. I look yeah, at it. If you look at it from you, yeah, I get it. Okay, what do you say? Well, it's like when you get an assignment. If you like have to do like a book report, but you do a book review, it's not a book report. Like. Well, that's more highfalutin than I was bargaining for. What do you say? You didn't get what you paid for. Get your money back. Fair enough. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. I have done custom dresses numerous times in my life, and when I did, I, I have, I have done it with people who worked in a hut on Calle Ocho, and I have done it with Rene Ruiz. I know that you cannot 100% copy, you know, copy the dress perfectly, and they don't have to pay $2,000 for the dress, they just pay 500 to you. I know that, I know yes. that. But this is not that dress in some significant ways in the way this falls, which totally changes how the top of it is, and in the way the train is, which I know it's a little higher in your picture, but it's not very different. But it looks yeah, exactly man, like this. Really there is that, right? so much more fabric and flow, and, and, and there's such a difference between the two that that's really what I have to decide as a judge. Is it close enough where it's artistry and she has to take it, or, is it so off when you say, yeah, I can do that, and you couldn't do that, that you have to give her her money back? And I know that you put your heart and soul into this because you're an artist, but at the same time, she doesn't care that you're an artist. She cares that her daughter wanted this and got this, and she cares so much so that she laid out another whatever hundred, several hundred dollars to buy another dress okay. um, because you know her daughter wanted what she wanted. She wanted a lot of flow, a lot of the overlap. She didn't get that. That's actually what she got in the red dress that she bought off the rack. Um, so here's what's gonna happen. You don't get $1,500 for your daughter's pain and suffering mm -hmm. because if, the, if she gets pain and suffering over this, life is gonna be a rude awakening. You don't get tolls and gas. You don't get the boys' prom vest. You never paid for that. So I why paid $65. I thought you didn't pay $65. No, it was, the, it was $175. I paid $65 of it. The mom's supposed to pay the Is difference. Is that accurate? Man, listen. So you paid what, $565? With the first $565. Vest, right? $565. $565. Stop. $565. Is that figure accurate, yes or no? $560. Yeah, $560. $565. Yes. Okay. All right. What's well, concerned um, to the vest? Can he, I, 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 didn't, I didn't get a chance to explain what, what happened with the vest. I don't care. The vest was supposed to match a dress. If I've ruled on the dress, I've ruled on the vest. Alterations to the a child. new dress. Why would he have to pay $85 for your new okay, dress because, to be altered? No. Okay. Cost of the new dress? No. What I am going to order that the defendant return to the plaintiff is $565. Thank you. That is my verdict. The dress stays with him. Heard my story. Here, he can The phone and the dress. Don't touch it. Oh, Just leave okay. it there. We'll get it. Thank you. So the plaintiff gets $565. Mr. Anthony's on his way out of the courtroom. I know you're upset. You obviously feel like you didn't get to explain everything. Is that what your problem is? I didn't get a chance to explain anything. There was just a total rush, but I'm... Um, if the judge change and the decision will change, that's just one judge, how she conduct her stuff in her court. Well, the bottom line is she just came to the conclusion the dress didn't match what she but ordered she, no, and no, no, you no, lost. No, 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 but listen, there's a process why this dress end up to this, to this year. She was keep on changing the dress over and over. Could she sit in it? Could she do this in it? And it was keep on changing, keep on changing it. I didn't get a chance to explain that in the court. In terms, uh -huh. in terms with the vest, the child, the child missed the fitting for the first vest, right? When they missed the fitting for the first vest, it's a suicide for a designer to continue to work on a project. This is just, I don't know, man. It's just fine, but well, I'm it's, sorry it's, just, for you. it's just, it's just, it's, it's just one judge decision. If it changes to the next judge, you're gonna get a next decision. Okay. That's fine. Thank you very much. Well, he's really upset. Uh, well, what can I tell you? He's upset. You're it's happy. Fine. Okay. It's fine. He can be upset because okay. if you see the dress, you'd be upset too. He don't want that, nor did I. Okay. But I'm happy for the verdict, and um, y'all be careful. Y'all know what he looked like. Don't <laughs> hide him. You'll be in people's court. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. You may leave. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Harvey, <laughs> let us know what you think. Well, she is trying to get what the plaintiff was trying to get, but the fact is it is a windfall. You do not get a free dress. You simply get your money back.